Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Hey, brother, you understand what the officer was saying about the grave and Oh, uh, let me tell you what God said. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 25. Because here's the thing. We got to repent right now. You see what I'm saying? Because guess what? Judgment can happen to you. You see what I'm saying? See, right now you're still wearing it. I don't think it resonating in your head yet on how much of a danger that is to you. Yeah, we walk around uh, hugging it and kissing it and Looking at it in the mirror, thinking it's gonna do something. Bring it out. That. That's bro. right. That crazy ain't gonna do that. Let's see what God said to do with it, bro. Read the read what you got. Do the run. Chapter 7 and verse 25. Bring it out. The graven images of their God. Of who? Their God. Of who? Their God. Because we only have the one true God. He said, their God. Their God let us go astray from our God. Because guess what? That God ain't real, man. Right, right. But we make them real. Guess what we learning from? We might say that we don't, we don't worship the white man, but guess what? In our action, we do. Jeez. Read on. Shall ye burn. What, what? Hold on. Wait a minute. What the Lord said about them graven images? Shall ye burn. God said we got to burn them damn things. That's right. right. Why? Because it's a hindrance. Here, I'm, 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 I'm going to give you an example. The sister that was just right here, right? Y'all saw the sister, right? She walking around with the baby, with the not, she, she's not even married. Where do we where do we, where do we learn that from? Bring it out. In the Christian church. Right. And guess what? She gonna think it's okay by what? Seeing you wearing that graven image on your neck. You might not think that you are not teaching that, but God says you are teaching that to your people. That's right. right. God said you gotta burn that thing. Keep on reading. Shall ye burn with fire? With what? With fire. Now, we ain't telling you to go around right now if you're putting no fire to the thing. But God said, man, in reality, in your spirit, throw that crap in the trash can right now, bro. But you gotta know who you are first. Be the greatest thing in this book, man. Can nobody tell us anything different? Right. right. We study the Bible 24 7. Right. Seven days a week, man. Right. Y'all don't understand because you don't got the fear of the Lord in you, bro. So you take your life. Right. That's how, that's how important that grave. Give me um, your actions and ways. What you say? Uh, I said? First Samuel. First Samuel. Give me that first Samuel. Now here's the thing. God said your actions, but you, for example, you can walk around all day with that cross on. After you just heard the law said what? What did the law just say? It said to burn it, right? But what you going to do, bro? God said you got to show him that you love him. You actually ran for a reason. Why you still got it on your neck? Let me ask you that. I can't hear you. That's fine. I'm just asking. I ask you a question. I just said, well, for example, we um, the officer just read up back to it. The other script I pulled said the same thing, but God said you got to burn that thing. Up. So my question to you is, why you still have it on your neck after you heard what God said? Listen, uh, give me make haste to after this. Uh, read that for a read that for First Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 3. Come Bring on. it out. Talk. No more exceeding, exceedingly proud. Read it again. Talk. No more so exceedingly proud. So God said the black man in America, we proud. Right. That's why I asked you a question. I said, have you, have you read, for example, when we read that, we, 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 we took it off. You know what I'm saying? I, we used to wear stuff like that, the arms. The Rastafarian lion and stuff. We used to wear all that stuff. But God said, once you know who you are, that's what we've been teaching y'all all day. We are the Israelites. That's right. We always were the Israelites. We right. read them guys, man. We got to start acting like it, bro. What's right. your name? Joe, we got to start acting like it. Read it again. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Because God knows the black man is proud. Right. right. Because here's the thing, though. I can, I can get it. To, to, to an extent, to the point where, let's just say you learn, uh, give me a, give me some comedic history. That, that, that might sound all great and lovely and everything. You learn that for two days, right. but we come out here for two minutes and tell you God said that's a damn lie. That's right. That's why God says you're proud. 
And everybody want to be different. And, and, and reality, y'all don't want to be different. God said, put on some fringes. Right. On your clothes. Right. That's how you know you're different. Right. Under the Sabbath day, that's how you know you're different. Put away them damn graven image off your neck. Right. That's how God says you're different. Right. You know? but, we don't, but we think we different because I... I'm, I'm one, of, one, one out of five that got them joints. I'm the only one that got 36 inch rims. No, bro. It's going to be another Negro with bigger rims than that. But guess what? You're going to stand out when you keep God's commandments. That's, That's right. right. Look at these brothers around you. We stand out because we fear the God. That's, That's right. right. That's what we're trying to That's what we try to tell you, bro. You're bigger than that cost. Right now, that cost bigger than you. Right. You're not, you, you, you let that demon still stay on your neck. Read it again. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. So God said we arrogant too. For example, we, when we read God's law, bro, we're going to have to change because here's the thing. We think that we can't just leave here and judgment don't happen. Anything can happen. Then you go, what's the first thing you're going to grab? Let's say you're getting an accident. You're going to grab that cross problem, aren't you? Why you got a loan then? That's supposed to be your... Well, I'm, I'm still asking why you got a loan. I know you're just not hearing it, but hold that real quick. We'll go back to uh, the one I was on. I made haste. This song. Watch this though, cuz. What, for example, who know about King David? Psalms 119, verse 16. 16. Yeah. Psalms what did King David do to one of his brothers? He had... Huh? He had sex with his wife. What did he do to the brother though? He, he put he put him to death. Bring it oh, out. His own brother, Uriah, put Uriah to death because he wanted his woman. But God said the black man can repent. That little Edomite bond, white man you just seen, he can't repent. Y'all can you repent out of all your sins. Right, right. Read what you got. Let's see what King David said for you, my boy. Psalms 119 and verse 59. Bring it out. I saw on my way. God says, I mean, King David said he thought on his way, bro. I'm sorry, I'm bad with names. What's your name again? Joe. Just imagine you, this is you. Joe, you got to think on your way. He, King David thought like, damn, I killed my brother, man. Then I got in white pregnant. That's why God had to kill the kid. Because that's wrong, bro. We don't, we, we're supposed to look at each other as God. Right. Right. We're supposed to be together, man. Start looking at each other like jealousy and hatred. No, we... We out here, we, we were the same way y'all is. Right. We just repented and did this. I thought on my ways right. and turned my feet right. unto thy testimony. What? Right. So King David thought on his way. He said, man, I killed my brother, man. And I took his bread. Mm -hmm. right. He had to think on his way. He did that. What makes you think you better than him to keep the cross on your neck? Bring right. it out. Read it again. I thought on my way and turned my feet unto thy testimony. He turned his feet into the words of God. He already, just think about it, man. He, he already knew he did wrong. Here's the thing, though. We out here to retell y'all what y'all doing wrong. Right. Because y'all don't know that y'all doing wrong. Our job is to have you brothers repent. We right. need y'all. We need 144,000, man. That's right. We need 144,000, bro. You're a God on this earth. You gotta start right. acting like it. Right. Start getting up on Saturday, going to the store, buying blunts, buying uh, alcohol at this time of morning, and going home, getting, getting uh, girls pregnant, and ain't taking care of them. Y'all right. gotta marry, marry your wife. You want to have a wife. Read it again, man. Come on, stay with me. I thought on my ways uh -huh. and turned my feet unto thy testimony. Read. I made haste. Yo, what haste mean? When you hastily do something. Huh? You heard the brother said? He said, Dave said, hey, once I seen how, how much demons was on me, he said, when I read that, thou shalt not kill my brother, I made haste. To do what? And delay not to keep thy commandments. Guess what one of the commandments for you is, Joe? You got to destroy the grand image, bro. That's, That's right. right. That's a commandment of God. So you, hey, you can keep the chain, just go on and toss that thing. That's how you show repentance to God right, right now. Because your angel watching right now, brother. What you going to do? You going to take it off now? He don't want to take it off, though. That 
that's a stronghold. That's a demon on you, bro. Go back to First Samuel. Huh? Huh? He, he don't want to tell you. I asked him already. Hey, I'll ask you like, well, I, I'll probably see why you holding on to it. I understand that. I understand, bro. But I hear everything you say. How you doing, sister? Oh, we, we, we just going on over the importance of the Christian cross. It is the devil of the Bible speaks up. You cannot wear Christian crosses. You can't wear them on your shirt. You can't wear them on your earring. You can't wear them on your toes. I don't, man, I don't care where you wear them at. God said these are demonic spirits. That's why he can't take it off. I want y'all to see that. We're not beating up on you, bro. Don't get us. And we are here trying to pull that stronghold out of you. Bring right. it out. Read it again. First Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 3. Read. Talk no more exceedingly broadly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. Read For the Lord is a God of knowledge. God said, hey, there you go, bro. Take that thing off, man. God said he's a God of knowledge. Let's see what that knowledge is. Give me that knowledge and go back. God said he... That thing is an abomination. Why do you think a lot of stuff happened to black folk, bro? Because we, uh, we honor idolatry. We celebrate birthday, Christmas, mm. Halloween. Right. Oh. We honor the dead, man. Sit on that phone. Uh, every every birthday of your mom and dad, even though she passed away. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta uh just always honor her every time. Trash can over there. God said the day you had a trash can over there, brother. Hey, go put it in the trash can for me. You don't, want, you don't want to put it in the trash can? Oh, you put it in there? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that was crazy. At least you put it in the can. That's better than putting it in your pocket. Get that can empty. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 25. Yeah. Yeah. The, graven in, the graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold. I say you can't desire that. It's silver or gold. I, that, that's what most of the crosses are made out of. Bring it out. Silver, gold, and wood. God said you can't put no honor in that thing, man. That's how deep it, the rabbit hole goes, yo. Read, read it in. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, uh -huh. nor take it unto thee. Oh, whoa, well, they take it what? Unto thee. So, hey, that's why we said put it in the um, trash can. God said, don't take that thing on you. Here's the thing, though. When you, when you come into repentance, even though you put it in the can, oh, it's a look. God said you can't have that thing around you. Bring it up. That's what God said. Why? Because it brings death. Spiritually, bro, it brings death. That's it, right. It, it, it could be physically, too, that the Lord get tired of you. Because the Lord said, Joe, I brought my prophets out here to tell you right. about them graven images. Right. Yeah, you put it in the can. But what else are you going to do for me? Because guess what? You've been living a life of sin. Bring right. it out. You've been living a life of sin. All of us have been living a life of sin. Right. Read it again. Uh, come on, finish that up. Unto thee, Read. lest thou be stand therein. God said, if you do not put away that thing away from you, you're going to be a trap. God's going to trap you some way, form, or fashion. Whatever your lust is, he's going to trap you. Because you got the graven image still around you. That's how important it is to throw that thing away. Right? Throw right. that crap away, man. Right. Because you better than that. Right. Read it again. Oh, that's the more on that? Come on. For it is an abomination. Now, oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. God said that's an abomination, bro. Right. That's what God said, the black God. That's how we supposed to kill them. Bro, why you think we out here? We out here for y'all, bro. Right. We had to tell y'all that judgment is coming on this earth. Right? That's right. And what you must do to get out of that judgment. Right. So we got, hey, man, I thought, hey, man, I, I could just see it in the can in my spiritual eyes, man. Right. I could just see it, man. That's more on that. Go ahead. For it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Come on. For, give me back. Go, go back to uh, uh, my main haste. You got to make haste to keep God commandment. Oh, uh, then give me uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 11. So here we go. Hey, man, we out here win your soul. You know what I'm saying? We be out here every day. Seven days a week, man. If you tell somebody today, we out here for another hour, man, because we got to go and learn the law. 
Just like, just like we had new people coming to our school. Our school ain't never 15 minutes away. Right. right. All y'all can come to the school today. Right. Huh? It's on, you got the flight? It's on the back of that flight. 15 minutes in um, off of uh, Highway 85. 691 Highway 85. See what you got. Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 60. Bring it out. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. You hear that, Joe? How you doing, my brother? Hey, God said the black man needs to make haste in keeping his commandments. What do you think about that? You agree with that, right? Now, give me 1 Corinthians 11. You got that? Yeah, um, yeah. 1 Corinthians 11. What you got? 1 Corinthians. Chapter 11 and verse 3. So, bro, I'm sorry, what's your name, bro? John Tavius. This was Joe. And what's your name, bro? Because you already keep this law. You might not know. Read what you got. But I would have you know that the head of every man. So here's the thing, though. We brought off the graven image, right? But you didn't know that. So when you leave here, God knows that you know that. Whether you put the can out, uh, put it in the trash, or you might try to saw the damn can over and take the mug out. God said he's still going to kill you, bro. Right. So, here's the thing. You might not do that. That's why we out here to tell you your judgment. Because you got an angel there right now. Everything you do in this damn life. How you think it's going to be a judgment? He's going to bring out the books mm -hmm. on you. And say, what Job been doing? How are you? Job been 35 years old. Hey, come on. Come on. Hey, come on in. Hey, everybody. Job been 30, 35 years old. I ain't gonna write everything down which y'all been doing, all of y'all, which all y'all been doing since the day you were born. But guess what? It's certain things so small as taking off a gold, a golden cross, which is of the devil, that the, the, the angel gonna write down, okay, I got some good stuff I'm gonna write down about Joe. Right. And, and all of y'all. Read the you got. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 26. Bring it on. Neither shalt thy bring an abomination into thine house. Lest thou be a curse. Now, so God said you can't raise very images in your house. You understand that, brother? Now, you go back to 1 Corinthians. Go back to 1 Corinthians. Because here's the thing. You might not do that. Graven images are bad, bro. I know you just came up. I will pray to the most high. Graven images are bad. Let's see what else is bad that y'all might not do. Read what you got. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Bring it out. But I will have you know. That the head of every man is Christ. So, and head of every man is who? Huh? Christ. Okay, go ahead. And the head of the woman is the man. Let me ask y'all. Y'all married? Nobody married. Got girlfriends? Got girlfriends? So, guess what? You got to marry that sister. Right. She's supposed to be, you supposed to be the head of her. That's there ain't right. no 50 50 with God. That's and guess right. what? Y'all are the gods on the earth. That's, That's right. You are God on this earth. You are God on this earth. All of, all of us are God. Right. But we got to start acting like That's right. You can't sleep around with your girl, man. You got to marry that sister. You ever talked about marriage before? Yeah. Exactly. So don't be scared, bro. You got to be a man. Read what you got. And the head of the woman is the man. Uh -huh. And the head of Christ is God. God the Father is our uh, uh, heavenly Father. Christ is daddy. Read on. Every man. Now, it said every Israelite man, every black man, that's listening to this right now, praying or prophesying. It said if you pray or you prophesy, meaning everything in this Bible, if you even open a Bible, this is what you got to do. Having his head covered. Having his what? His head covered. Uh -huh. Dishonoring his head. Now I said the Israelite man is going to have his head uncovered. Right. You got Y'all got y'all heads covered. Y'all didn't know that. All pray to the Lord. You got to take that off. All that off. But God said, your head got to be uncovered, man. That's true repentance. But ain't that go for you too, bro? Read it again for Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. Now, who's our head? Huh? No, God is Jesus Christ's head. Who's our head? Right. Who? Right. Christ is our head. That's right. right. God said you got to take that thing off. So Christ is your head. Right. right. You got to take it off. You got to take the head off. You got to take that off, brother. Mm -hmm. I know. Hey. All right. Hey. Huh? Oh, you got to go now. Right. Hey. So you good. Hey, man. Let's take that fly out. Oh, yeah. All praise. Hey. Go to the school today, man. What is the nation?
Nation is men leading by example.